Hey, welcome to my channel. I put butterflies on my wall. They're from the Olivia Rodrigo concert. I've been meaning to put them up for a while, and then I just didn't. Procrastination. Anyway, so. Oh wait, I'm missing like a whole section of butterflies right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go fix that. See, much better. I like it because like the butterfly set. I hope you're okay. Thanks for coming to the sour tour. And they're purple butterflies. And it's just really cool. Ooh, and the confetti. It's like the confetti's falling while the butterflies are flying away. So I love it. Much better. Now it's like even. But anyway, let's get back to what this video is actually about. My puzzles. Okay, so basically, I started getting into puzzles about two years ago or actually three years ago, a little before COVID. We were moving my sister up to Seattle in March of 2020. Okay, so two years ago, in March of 2020. And there was this map store. It was called Esker Maps. It's still around. And we went in, it's basically, I want to I'll insert video here. It's basically a puzzle and map and just a really cool store. It has maps all over. And it has a bunch of different puzzles, like geography one, the earth. It's just really cool. I went in and I picked out what puzzle I wanted. It was similar. It was similar to this puzzle. Except I don't think this is the actual one I got. I don't know where the actual one I got is. I put it somewhere. It's somewhere around here. But all my puzzles are over here. So if I look over here, it's because I'm getting a puzzle. So basically... I got the puzzle and I started working on it right when we got back to our Airbnb. I love it. I think I got about like, I'd say a quarter of the way through before we had to fly back to Arizona. I broke it up in sections and then packed it. Started working on it at home and finished it. Now, I think we went back to up to Seattle in July and when we went back, I got two puzzles. They're all by the same company, White Mountain, and I absolutely love their puzzles. I love how they're um, like how they're laid out and just the puzzles. So once I did those two, I didn't know when we would be back in Seattle. So I ordered um, one off of their website, which is this one. It has it is presidential stamps. So it's really cool. I did that. And I really liked puzzles. I did that first puzzle like nine times. I could get a piece and know exactly where it should go. That's how much I did it. I just knew the pieces like the back of my hand, I swear. The next time we went back up to Seattle, don't remember when it was, we went to this island called Bainbridge. It's a part of Washington, it's near Seattle. I got a puzzle there. It is a um, cat puzzle. It's really cool and yeah. Okay, the thing is I didn't actually finish it. I, I do puzzles really slowly. I'll start them and then I'm kind of slow if it doesn't like start going together immediately. So it was about like a month maybe of working through this puzzle. I'm about like a quarter of the way and then I just like decide not to finish it because I'm not gonna finish it anytime soon. So I basically got rid of it. Well, okay, I didn't get rid of it. I basically stopped working on it and I started a new puzzle, which is actually downstairs now and I'm working on it. And I also got it from Bainbridge. I'll insert a picture of the um, box here. It basically is like a black history puzzle. And it's really cool. It has a bunch of black people and I chose section into color and work on it from there. My mom went up to Seattle a month ago and I made her go to the map store for me and get me this 500 piece puzzle, which is this. And every time I've gone, I've wanted to get this puzzle, but I see that it's only 500 and I completely forgot that it's only 500. So, um, now I have a 500 piece. All my other puzzles are 1000 piece, but you know, something easier, something that I can finish quick, which I'll probably start if I don't finish this next puzzle. But I also got a puzzle from the Try Guys. They um, released one, they released a limited edition puzzle and it's really cool. I, put, I have it actually, it's framed. I think it's in my closet. I'll find it and insert a photo here. 
it's really cool and it actually only took me like a week i finished it really quick i wanted to hang it but i didn't have anything to hang it because my walls were completely bare at the time and then i flipped vinyl so i don't know where i'm gonna put it i don't have an extreme puzzling history it started only like a couple years ago but puzzles are like really fun and really fun to like take up your time and take your mind off things i like listening to um audiobooks while i'm doing it i've listened to tiffany hash haddish's book three times would recommend i've also just listened to books i would usually read Ooh, i listen to a lot of podcasts like office ladies i love the office and also i guess it's listening to music it doesn't really matter you know kind of whatever mood i'm in oh and also i watch a lot of youtube Ooh, and netflix like i'll just sit there work on my puzzle while playing a youtube video and it's just fun it's just a way to relax you know like I said, I don't have like an extensive puzzling history. I'm not like a collector by any means. I'm not like a master by any means. It's just a fun hobby that I like to do. From White Mountain, they have another puzzle. It's another collage like these are, but it's different. So as soon as I do the 500 piece, I'll update you guys on my Instagram. Follow me. It's linked down below. I'll post on my story or on a highlight or something that I finished my current puzzle. And if I don't, then you'll get a post that I finished the 500 piece. I'll update you guys on that. The reason I actually like all of these puzzles, like this specific kind, the you know, collage, is because it's actually because it's like easier to see how everything's gonna line out. And I really like the um, look of these ones. I really like how they're laid out and like the design. So yeah, may also maybe that's why I do them quicker because like they're specific places. I don't, but I I don't know. <laughs> I just know that I like puzzling. You you guys let me know if you guys like puzzling or what your guys' favorite hobbies are, and you know, maybe we can puzzle together. You know, have like a party, a puzzling party. You think of names, but put puzzling club names in the comments. But um, I really like puzzles. Haven't been into them for too long. Puzzles are fun. Um, I'll probably start working on mine now. I feel motivated to work on my puzzle after making this video. That's the end of the video. Make sure you guys comment if you guys like puzzling, um, what your guys' favorite hobbies are, if you hate it. Because I can get, I can understand if you hate it, because like, it's kind of just sitting down, putting pieces where they go. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe, right, right, right there, or somewhere. Um, and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye.